Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Witch's Roots unboxing for you. This is the May box. I just got it today. I'm very excited to see what's in here. If you are new to my channel, I upload videos every Thursday and sometimes on Mondays as well. I do tons of stuff like unboxings, chatty videos about stuff that are on my mind, witchy hauls, thrift hauls, all kinds of cool stuff like that. And I have a ton planned for this summer. So if you would like to stick around for that, please subscribe below. So if you do not know about the Witch's Roots, usually it is focused focused around a particular herb and they give you some really cool artwork. They give you some of the herb itself and a lot of cool other witchy goodies. It is $29 a month. I believe after the tax or fees it ends up being 30 and some change. I think 30.74 if I'm not mistaken. This box is by the Witch's Moon and they do have two other tiers of boxes but they are the more expensive ones. This one I believe is in fact the cheapest they have. I do apologize now if you can hear noise in the background. My dog is scuffling around and playing with her toys. Anyways, if you would like any information on this box, I will leave it all down below. This is not a sponsored video. I did pay for this myself. I just really enjoy this box and want to share it with you guys. So let's get right into it. Always looks like this. They keep it nice and tacked. I'm gonna move it out of frame though so you guys aren't seeing it all at once. They send you a detailed pamphlet on all the items along with how to use them if you need to know that information as well. We will look at this last. So the first thing we have on here is for Angelite, which is a stone, which that leads me to believe there's probably one somewhere in this box. Usually the artwork they send pertains to the items you get, so that is pretty cool. And it is very beautiful artwork. I do put these in my Book of Shadows and my Herbal Grimoire because again, they are very gorgeous. And then this one is on the Herb Rosemary, so that means for this month there will be a bag of rosemary somewhere in this box. Pretty common herb. I tend to like to get the ones that aren't as common, you know, for kitchen herbs, but that's all right. It's no big deal. I always use more. Then next up we have what looks to be the oil of the month. They always sent an oil. I've only had it leak on me a handful of times. Only one time was really bad. It looks like it is safe. And this one it says Open Pathways Magical Anointing Oil. Now they usually send a glass dropper. I do not see one in here for this month, but usually they'll send you a dropper if it is an anointing oil, but that's no big deal. I can already tell there is rosemary in here, and I'm not quite sure what else, but let's give it a smell. I can definitely smell the rosemary, but I also smell, hmm, maybe peppermint? There's some mintiness to it. I think it's peppermint. I'm pretty sure. It's like a sweet mint. So there is our oil. Then next up, we have a stick of what seems to be palo santo wood. Then next up, we do have a bag of the herb of the month which again is rosemary i do like that it's the smaller pieces of it it looks like they ground it up a little bit oh there's a hole in this baggie some just fell out anyways so there is a bag of rosemary they always send you a pretty generous amount and i do mention this in all of these videos but i like to say it for anybody that's new to this channel but these labels they put on these baggies i don't know about you but i like them they look very weathered they do come off very easily you can easily peel and stick them to glass bottles which is very convenient but there is that. Then next up we have the candle of the month. They always send a candle. And this month it is a nice muted yellow color. And all of their candles are hand rolled beeswax. These ones they send you the half version. I know in their other box they send you the tall versions. And they also do tapered versions of these. But what I like about these the most is that you can actually unroll these candles if you wanted to and add herbs or anything else you want to them to fit whatever you're using them for. And these burn really well they burn very evenly and I really really love these candles next up we have the incense for the month which is another thing that they always send they used to not label these or put them in individual baggies I'm so glad that they started doing that because too often do these get mixed in with all the other ones and you don't remember which ones are from which so that is awesome that they have them in separate labeled bags let's give this one a smell hmm this smells very similar to the oil that we got last month where it almost smells like a laundry detergent or um, even a dryer sheet. Does that make sense? This one's milder though, so I definitely like it compared to the oil that we got last month. I tried using some of it and it was so perfumey. It gave me a really bad migraine, but I really like the smell of these. It's a milder version. Definitely a fan of it. Next, we have a little blue pouch, which I'm assuming is going to be the stone for the month. And it is the angelite. It is very pretty. It looks very similar to uh, Blue Lace Agate, but 
very nice pale sky blue color very heavy too for its size but i really like that it's very pretty Put that back in the pouch and it looks like we are at the last item of the month which is divine doors behind every door lies adventure mystery and inspiration by andreas and gracia sorry if i said that wrong let's open these and actually look at a couple of them shall we now these are very similar to the star seed that we received in oh, was that a goddess provisions box or it could have been a tamed wild or it could have been one of these witches roots i don't know at one point i was getting too many boxes and i can't remember which one i got the star seeds in they're very pretty and i really like them and this has been on my wish list so i'm glad to get them so now we can actually look at them how to use your cards behind the door all questions reside turn the handle and step inside intuitive guidance is your natural call lay out the cards and let them fall close your eyes and open your heart in the mystery of form of art hold a question in your mind turn the page to see what you will find so you're supposed to just pick one of these at random but i want to show you guys some of the artwork and they are all doorways they are very cool Ooh, this one's got a monk standing in the doorway these are very cool i'm not going to show them all to you but i'll show you a couple more Ooh, i really like that one you know what we'll see what this one says destiny one door closes another opens for you let the plans of destiny unravel true that is very cool it says pass this card on i at the moment do not want to get rid of any of the cards from the deck i'm kind of curious do all of them say that oh okay no they all give you different prompts some of them don't have any at all some say breathe in breathe out some say pass it on pass it on celebration is near some say meditate and some say pa yeah so a couple of them say pass this card on that is cool i mean i feel like this would be a good one to pass on that says destiny because maybe it might be the answer somebody's looking for very very cool I really like this one. All right, so now that we have looked at everything, we'll get out our pamphlet here and we'll go through each individual item just in case we have forgotten anything. I doubt we have, but we can read a little bit more on some of the items. This month's theme was open pathways. So the first thing they have listed is the rosemary. Then next up we have the rosemary herbal grimoire artwork. And again, their artwork is always so pretty and I really like it. And I always put these in my herbal grimoires. I'm definitely glad to have another one. Then next up we have the Divine Doors Inspiration Deck, which I really, really like this. There are a bunch of other ones of these inspiration decks and kind of, they're almost like oracle cards. Cards, I would say similar to anyways but I have quite a few of these that I want so very excited to have that then next up we have the open pathways magical anointing oil let's see what is in this ah spearmint spearmint rosemary and sandalwood and then there is spearmint and rosemary herbs and a lumerian quartz so the spearmint I could smell like a sweeter mint in it uh, I couldn't really smell the sandalwood too much but I didn't mix it very well before I smelled it but you could definitely smell the rosemary and the spearmint so i'm definitely liking the mixture they had in this then next up we have the angelite stone which was in this blue pouch then we have the angelite book of shadows reference page and again gorgeous artwork as always then we have the open doors ritual incense they never list what is included in these incense sticks like what kind of scents they are so unfortunately you never really get much information on those and then we have the awakening mini spell candle which again was this muted yellow candle Handle, and Palo Santo. I liked this month's box. So that was everything for this month's Open Pathways Witches Roots box. I really enjoyed this one. I'm really glad to get that deck of open doors. Again, I said that is something that's been on one of my wish lists, I believe, on not Amazon, but somewhere else that I get a lot of my books and stuff like that from. I definitely really wanted it. So I do have another witchy haul coming up for you guys where I get something similar to that, but not the same thing. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I don't want to give any spoilers out, but I definitely have a video of another haul coming up for you guys very, very soon. Let me know what you guys thought of this box. My favorite thing is definitely going to be the deck. My second favorite thing is probably 
Lastly, the Angel Light artwork. I think it's so beautiful. And I'm glad to have that stone to add it to my collection. I do not have any. I almost picked one up, but I decided not to. And I'm kind of glad I waited because it came to me anyways. So let me know what you guys thought about this box for this month. Leave a comment down below what you thought of all the items, if you have any favorite from the box. Give this video a thumbs up if you have not already. Subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!